All right, good morning. So we're back here on the job site, the Cedar Pavilion build. Got the dingo rented. We're gonna be grading some dirt today around the slab. And with the auger attachments that we have on the dingo, we're gonna start our piers. We should be able to do the bulk of the work with the dingo. We're still gonna have to clean some of the holes out when we're done. Let's get started. Important lesson, when you're renting any kind of equipment or trailer from anybody, anywhere, anytime, always check to make sure that this is locked on the ball before you pull away. I had the guy at Home Depot help me out putting this on. I didn't double check it, kind of got in a hurry. When you saw me unload the dingo, the trailer popped off and I pulled it all the way, about 30 miles up the interstate like that. Double check. Definitely a close one. Very fortunate nothing happened with the trailer coming off the truck on the way here to the job site. What I'm doing now is just making my way to the backyard via the side of the house, which is another reason why I rented the machine. As you can see, it was a very narrow passage to get it down and it worked out great. I'm scraping the front of the pavilion right now. Just need to drop the soil out of the grade about three to four inches down on the front and on the sides a little bit. So when I'm running my deck joists from the ledger board on the side of the pavilion over to the piers I'm gonna dig, I won't have all that dirt that's in my way. And I wouldn't have to hand dig as much. And the homeowners requested that I scrape all the grass up from underneath the deck also. And the machine came in handy for that as well. When I get ready to, I'm gonna mark my pier locations. Nothing super complicated about how I do it. The slab where we poured the concrete for the pavilion was already squared up the way we wanted. So I just pulled a tape measure 40 inches from the ledger board on center to my marks for the pier footings. Spaced them out every eight feet because we're going to be running two by six joists and that's about the furthest I'd want to span a two by six. It's a low clearance deck so I'm not worried about it being that much of a span between the piers. Here I got the auger attachment on the dingo, ready to start my first pier, and wouldn't have any luck with it. It actually would find the soil is very rocky, clay-based, and I didn't do it any favors by not getting off the machine and actually using my breaker bar to break it apart, help it out a little bit. And it struggled like that just about every single hole. I think it helped. I think it got down to the depth that I wanted on two of them. But as you can see, I'm bearing all the weight on the machine on that one clip. And get maybe six to eight inches on most of the holes, which is fine to start it. I was going to have to go back behind every single hole and end up doing them all by hand anyway. Highly recommend renting one of these. I've used this machine and this attachment on other projects and it worked out great. As you can see here though, it just did not like the ground that we were trying to chew through. But makes its way down narrow side paths or sides of houses really easily. Machine's versatile, it's really easy to use. Shouldn't, you wouldn't have any problems figuring it out, maybe 15, 20 minutes of messing with the controls and the functions. And the attachments come off pretty easily. As you can see, it comes with an eight inch attachment and 12 inch attachment. And then this time I'm gonna load up the dingo with the trailer attached to the truck and not have an incident like that again. <laughs> Once it's loaded, I'm gonna head back to the backyard, start digging the holes by hand and getting ready to set my pier tubes and pour concrete. 